there are three really good reasons why you would want to use a remote shutter release with your camera. The first is to reduce camera shake that you'll have when you use a long lens or a long shutter speed with your DSLR or HDSLR style cameras. Now, is it really that big of a deal? It can be. There's a mirror inside these cameras that snap up out of the way. and It can cause a little wobble when you take a picture. You can easily see it on a photo that uses a long shutter time like a cityscape here. Here's a shot that I did of the Chicago skyline with the camera on a tripod and I used a remote shutter release. Nice and crisp, right? Well, here's what happens when camera shake jumps in there from not using a remote shutter release. Big difference, right? Finding the just right remote shutter release starts with deciding between corded or cordless versions. Will keeps both a simple corded ProMaster release number 1957 and the cool ProMaster wireless remote model 1824 for his Nikon D7000 kit. The next reason to use a remote shutter release is to get yourself in the picture. This way you can easily slide into the photo and press the release when you want it instead of waiting for that sometimes awkward self timer on your camera to take the picture for you. Now this is where wireless releases really come in handy. Now I've got a camera on a tripod with a wireless release and I'm going to slide in next to my dog Maya and see if I can get a fun picture. Hi Maya, can we do a picture today? Yeah? Good girl. Can you look at the camera right there? There you go. Okay. St stay. Nice. Look up there. Good girl. Nice job. Now I've got the shutter release in my left hand and I'm just moving it out of the picture. In fact, I could probably bring it back here and it triggers just fine. Look up at the camera. Look up there. Look. Look. It's a sandwich. It's a large salami sandwich. I knew that would work. Good girl. ProMaster's wireless shutter releases range from replacements for your manufacturer's remotes that trigger your camera's built-in receiver to full-featured infrared remote transmitter and receiver sets that offer convenient functions and long-range triggering of up to 100 feet. The third and maybe best reason to use a remote shutter release is to work from the subject's position for portraits of kids or babies or for product shots. Let me show you how it works. Say we wanted to take a picture of these cool collectibles, but you weren't sure how you wanted them arranged. Well, framing up your picture and then walking over to the collectibles and then walking back to the camera to try to snap a photo can be a real pain. And you know what? It can rob you of some of your creative energy too. So instead, get your camera set up on a tripod and a wireless trigger of your choice and then snap some pictures like this and readjust a little bit. I want this red guy to move forward just a little bit. There we go. And you know what else I'll do? I'll blend one of these cool little LED lights that we love. This is the LED 120. And I'll move it off to the side like this, rotate it around, up on top, down low, just to mix it up a little bit. In fact, if you wanted to use it for a little bump light in front there, you could certainly do that too. Ooh, that looks nice as well, doesn't it? And this would be very cumbersome to do if we were walking behind the camera and not using the remote. Cool shots, huh? Not sure which remote shutter is right for you? Just bring your camera into any of the ProMaster dealers and have them help you connect one up and show you what you've been missing. These remote releases are just one of the ways you can make better pictures with ProMaster. To find a ProMaster dealer closest to you, please visit ProMaster.com.